Hi, Sagittarius, love and light. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody here might do some spell work or you may have manifested something and when it comes to love, honey, you're good at it. You're whatever you're doing to manifest, you keep keep doing it. Keep doing it. I'm telling you, because it's working. All right. Somebody here done mixed up a pot, some herbs, and you I don't know. Did you write something seven times? I don't I'm just saying here. Look at that. Ace of Wands, something new, passionate, creative. You're good with your wand. I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you are speaking life into your love life or you're writing something or you're doing some form of like magic or spell work here, you're really good at that shit. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I've seen energy like this when it comes to love. Wow, look at that. Nine of Wands. I'm telling y'all having a good a good ass time. Whatever y'all are doing, you're having fun while doing it. You are really having an amazing time. There's a lot of fire energy. There's a lot of magic and excitement and fun, flirty energy. Like now is a really good time. You could just be feeling frisky. Some of y'all, I don't. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Eight of cup. I mean the eight of um, pentacles and the two of uh, cups. Dang. Let's get let's get a few more here. Hold on. This is really really good, y'all. The, the two of cups is falling underneath the the magician. All right, you manifested a fair and balanced equal. You have been looking for someone to, to love, and, and it's, but not just anybody, right? I feel like y'all may have wrote a list. Whatever you've been doing, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who specifically wrote a list. The Eight of Pentacles is falling underneath this Queen of Wands. You did the work. Whatever work that you did on yourself, okay? This for some of y'all could be healing. For some of y'all, this could be speaking what you want into existence out loud every day or something some maybe some of y'all have a daily ritual a daily practice on top of the healing work that you did like you manifested it and whatever work you did on yourself is making you look attractive and it's attracting whatever this is that you're looking for to you it's attracting that to you there's an energy here that is quite unmatched i haven't really seen any energy like this before wow just wow queen of pentacles look at this dang hmm. you know your worth you know your value here this this queen of wands i feel like queen of pentacles i'm talking to the same person okay male or female the queen of wands is somebody here who is you know your you know your strength you know your value you know your worth you're a hot commodity out here in these streets, honey. And look at what just came out after that. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles are here together. Thing is, they're not looking at each other. You're not looking at each other. So here's the deal. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands. More wand energy, okay? So there is, I just got to say, there's a lot of sexual chemistry, passion, and attraction here. You, I feel like Divine Feminine, if you're resonating as a Divine Feminine, you worked on yourself, you did all this work, you <laughs> perfected, you know exactly what you want and what you're looking for, right? I feel like you've worked on yourself, you did a lot of inner healing, you could, you, you could be, some of y'all could be workaholics or something, or you own your own business, or whatever it is that you do, you're just really attractive, um, and, and you're just a woman of high value or a feminine of high value, male or female, I know I'm saying that, but you just really have a, a great self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? You you know what you're looking for. You're, this queen of pentacles is looking at this two of cups like, oh yeah, I, I don't want just anybody. I know what I deserve. And... You you may not have even met this King of Pentacles yet, okay? I feel like this King of Pentacles is looking for somebody just like you too. Page of Wands and the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Shit, look at this. Somebody, this is something new. I feel like it's something new, but we'll see for some of y'all. It might be somebody else. Old, definitely giving new, all right? Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. A lot of Aries, Leo, Sad, Gemini energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
um, Eight of Cups. Somebody here just recently walked away and moved on from something or someone here. You could be re Ooh, you Yes, you did. Hold on. Let me show you this. Y'all are wait, ready and waiting for a new beginning. The eight of, eight of Cups. You just walked away from something. Whatever you walked away from, you, you weren't happy with it. You weren't satisfied with it. You're walking towards the sun. You're walking towards a new beginning. Okay? You walk away from the past. It just wasn't working for you anymore. Whoever you were dealing with, whatever you were dealing with. Okay? You could have been single. You could be walking away from whatever, right? It just You just weren't happy with whatever options you had. I'm just going to say that. The, the right behind the eight of cups is the five uh, uh six of swords which is another card of moving on moving away from conflict anything that makes you feel unsure any uh, walking away from mind games okay letting go of baggage and just ready for a new beginning because you were loving on yourself you re you started to realize i'm sorry after the six of swords is the queen of cups Okay, I'm talking to a divine feminine. We have the Queen of Wands out here, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like you guys did a lot of inner healing and inner work. With this uh, Pisces energy here with the hangman, you started seeing things from a different perspective. And you started loving yourself from the inside out. You just started carrying yourself a di different way because you started viewing and speaking life into yourself, I feel like. This is you showing yourself all the tender love, care, support, pampering yourself. Y'all are going to do whatever it is you need to do. You just started seeing things from a different perspective when it came to you, I feel like. I really do feel like that. I feel like y'all may have even like... Um, heals some inner suppressed emotions or something. I don't. I don't know. Let me see what's going on with this King of Pentacles because I feel like I have a lot of information out here about you. If you're resonating as this uh, feminine, let's find out what's going on with this King of Pentacles. So I don't know. This King of Pentacles is falling underneath the Knight of Wands. So I'm gonna just have to say it. There is some sexual energy with this masculine. A lot of sexual energy. Why is the king of... Show me... Yeah, why is the king of pentacles here? Show me this king of pentacles energy. King of cups. Now, you already came out as the queen of cups. Right? I mean, that's what we saw on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I do see some emotion here. It's not just about passion or sex or, or attraction. There is emotion here, but let's get more information. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. The Hermit. Okay, so is this person holding back their feeling and their emotion? They could be a Virgo. Somebody here did some self-reflection and some work too. Show me more about this King of Pentacles, please. You know what's so funny? She, she bad by uh, O-Life featuring K-Camp is playing. I don't even know why this is playing right now. But like, you are bad. I'm telling you, you a bad mother, you know what. Okay, shut your mouth because the Queen of Wands is here with the Magician, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Honey, I feel like you put all, all these ingredients in the pot and you said, God dang it, this is what I want. Some of y'all made a list. Checked it twice. You made a list. And then you spoke life into it and you believed it and you put in all this effort and energy into yourself. That's what I feel like here. But So you are bad. Yeah, yeah. Show me more about this King of Pentacles, please. Okay. Somebody could have walked away from something. You could have walked away from this person. This could be a past person. Either this King of Pentacles is leaving and left with somewhere, or you left this King of Pentacles. And this person is moving on from something, or they're thinking about it. I show me what's going on more about this King of Pentacles. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. I feel like somebody here wasn't happy because this Nine of Cups came out crossing. So this King of Pentacles wasn't happy where they are and they walked away or this person is getting ready to walk away from something they're not happy from. I'm telling you, somebody's walking away. 
from a situation where they were confused. There was no clarity. It was a lot of bullshit going on. Maybe even some illusions in this person's life. Five of Swords is, again, not a good energy to be in. To be in a Six of Swords energy, you're walking away from all that drama and that BS and you're just like, I just want peace. This King of Pentacles here wants peace or they feel like that's how, how what you did. You walked away. I just want peace at all costs. Show me more about the King of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Yeah, they weren't happy. Or they aren't happy. Yeah, drama, I'm telling you. Five of Wands. The hair font. Some of y'all, somebody here could be, you know, with the King of Pentacles being here in the Hierophant, somebody could have been married or there's a situation where there was some drama and somebody needs to walk away from it. Yeah, I told you Seven of Cups energy was here. This person was in Seven of Cups energy and they're trying to walk away from that illusion, confusion, whatever the heck is going on is not working out for somebody and somebody's not, somebody's in regret now. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. Either this person you're gonna this person wants to reconcile with you, or this is a new person. So for some of y'all, this is a new person. The Ace of Cups, right, represents for you. I felt like self love, but from this King of Pentacles point of view, what was going on with their with them either in the past or this is getting ready to happen. They want to reconcile with you if you know who this person is, and they're returning. They're leaving some form of drama. Child, this been through this person been through so much shit. Nine of swords and the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody done been through some shit. <laughs> the moon. So we have nine nine, which act equals up to the number eighteen. Look at all this drama. And guess what's underneath that? The moon, which is the number eighteen. Somebody is going through a lot of shit secretly. And underneath that is the King of Wands. And you're already out here. So this person really feels like you are their person. New or old. So if they're, if they're new, they went through something. Okay? They went through a lot. Um, and they're doing a lot. This masculine is doing a lot of self-reflection here with the moon. Secretly, I feel like, they, you know, um, there's something hidden here. The, what could be hidden is the fact that this person is in this awful ass energy where they were uh, with the hermit being here. Man. Yeah. Show me more here. Attached to my ex. I'm attached to my ex emotionally, physically, or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection. This masculine is trying to get away from something where they're not happy. We just talked about it. There's some form of illusion. There's a bunch of drama, a bunch of anxiety, a bunch of stress. Uh, just, it's a, it's a battle, a bunch of conflict, a bunch of drama. Somebody wants to turn their back and walk away. I Show me more here. It's, that's unfortunate, child. I don't know. You might have met Manifested this person and not even knew it or some of y'all are still I feel like manifesting new love You are manifesting a two of cups. It says unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore So either you or your person mm, 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 mm. They may feel like they don't know how you feel about the connection. This isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and what's best for us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together soon. Oh, this person getting ready to tell somebody goodbye. I'm sorry. 
and they want to apologize to you. I hate how much I hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. So I'm going to say this, regardless of what this person has going on in their life, I still feel like you are manifesting something else and you know your worth, you know your value, you know what you really deserve and you know what you want and what you're looking for. And if this person isn't ready, then, then, then they're going to miss the bus. They're going to miss the bus. Because I don't feel like they're ready yet. They have, they looks like, sounds like to me and what I'm looking at, they're not ready. It's showing me what this person wants and what the current energy is. But I don't see the action just yet. Okay. I can see them thinking about doing this. Um, My fantasy. Now it is possible that um, I do feel like this person sits around and fantasizes about a future they could have with you. They go through your their phone. They read old text messages. They look at videos and pictures saved of you. You know, you definitely inspire this person with the Queen of Wands being here, <laughs> the Magician, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. You definitely inspire someone here. You have inspired them. They definitely want you and they fantasize about you physically for sure. They want to have sex, for sure. You're so special. You're truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before, and I can't get enough of it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. When you came, the energy right out of the gate for you guys, collective, it was like, whoa, I've never seen this energy before. It's so, like, damn magnetic and, like, damn, who is this? Who are you? I would, let me know. I don't know. Just let me know. You make this person nervous. You make this person nervous. I'm telling you. You remember we saw that she bad? It's, this card literally says you make me nervous even just thinking about you. I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Your energy is just like... Let the past go. We can't rewind time and go back to before we were both broken by life our past holds us back from our future so yeah this person is still attached to somebody here they're still attached to an ex for some of y'all they may have kids or whatever you know what i'm saying because this says emotionally physically and spiritually and they need to get space so somebody this person's got to let go of the past here mm. show me more emotional intimacy yeah there's definitely a lot of intimacy here it says i'm afraid to truly up to you. i'm afraid to truly open up to you being raw and authentic with my emotions is something i'm still working on <laughs> yeah we did see that king of cups and that hermit definitely holding them emotions back but they know good and full well they want to be emotionally vulnerable with you they want to be physically vulnerable. <laughs> they won't be all of that. Yeah, look at that. I told you. Look what just came out. This is so funny. The wild side card. They know good and well what they want. There's a there's a side to you I haven't seen, and I want to want. Wait, what? And I want to to and I want to see you let it loose, get wild, and have some fun. My bad, y'all. Oh boy, that is so funny. Child. I don't know what this person has going on, but let's pull from a different deck. Um, Victoria Monet, friends you can keep is on. I want to be a friend you can keep. This person wants to be the friend you can keep. Y'all know it's called the song is called F U C K. Friends you can keep. That's all I'ma say. If you know, you know. Show me what what are the blockages here with this person? Cause they don't seem to I mean, we talking about what they want, but love hates. Okay. 
And it, oh, okay, so this person can't make up their dang on mind. One minute they want something, the next minute they don't know what they want. There's an indecisive pattern between the two of you. This person can't live with you and they can't live without you. Or that's what's going on with them between them and this other karmic. Uh oh, hold on, what was that? Yeah. One minute they don't know what they want. So this person's in hot and cold energy sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. No. Nah. This is definitely not dependable energy. Because they have too much going on in their life. For some of y'all, when things are bad for this person, then that's when they want to come run towards you. And you've made a decision to be like, nah, I'm not dealing with that. I'm going to manifest my true, my true two of cups, something equal. It's coming in, so hang in there. Do not, do not give in. It says two or more people are getting ready to buy in for your attention, okay? You'll have to choose which one, which person to pursue. This is you feel looking all good and shit. Look, look at you over here looking all good and shit. And this Queen of Wands energy and this Queen of Pentacles energy. Money good, bad good. Looking great, feeling good, smelling good. Everybody over here looking at you. Who is that? Oh my God, you at the Christmas party looking amazing. <laughs> Dressed up, makeup, nails did, hair did, everything. What? That's you. <laughs> I don't think this person likes that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Doing it is playing right now. <laughs> oh, somebody is attached to you. Somebody's attached to you. You're attracting, a, this card literally says you're attracting a new love that will begin as a friendship and it will develop into something more. You guys realized you could not change a, a, um, a situation with this past person. You did what you needed to do for you. You worked on you. You focused on you. You know what I'm saying? And you're you're manifesting this. You did the work and, you, and you're getting ready to meet somebody that you're going to like be friends with first. Because I feel like, you know, the passion is all good, but like, you know what you want. It's about more than just passion. So, you know, good for you for for um, stepping into, taking a leap of faith to step into the unknown to do what you needed to do for yourself, whether or not you had to do it alone or not. But you're trying to conquer your fear, but your person is having a very difficult time conquering their fear. I don't, this is somebody trying to conquer their damn fear and they are having a lot of anxiety about that shit. You know, because the moon is about fears too. You could be dealing with the cancer, you don't have to be, you know, but this king of wands is trying to conquer this fear. Okay, this is, this is, this is, this is them. Okay, and this is you. Let me show you your beast mode energy. This you. Hold on, let me pick these cards up in the order they came in because I want you to see how you're showing up and how this masculine, they have some work to do and I think you knew that and you're working on you. This is how you showed up. Okay, no problem. I got it. I, I got this. I, I know I'm a co-creator. I know what I deserve. All right then, let me work on me so I can go on and get this right here because I know what I deserve. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an Aries, Leo, a Sag. You could be a Gemini. I mean, you could be any sign if this is resonating for you. But look. Hmm. See, the thing is, I feel like y'all are not in the moving forward. You're no longer settling. You don't even care if somebody's resume looks good or you don't care if they have a title or whatever the heck it is that they do. Um. You're not going to date people who just look good on paper or they have a certain resume or they do one certain thing that sounds good. But if it's missing something, I feel like you're just not going to set. Willing, you're not willing to settle. If it doesn't excite you, you don't want it. If it's not balanced, you don't want it. 
if they can't give you equal give and take and spend quality time with you and they got a third party attached to them, you don't want it. You're not interested. The collective doesn't want that. They're not interested. They are sick of this shit. You know, I and I am, quite frankly, sometimes sick of this shit too. You know, because I be reading these these. <laughs> Reading, I be reading this stuff every day. And I be like, damn, third party situation. Oh, third party situation. All oh, the karmic, all oh, the twin, twin flame. Uh, sometimes you just get tired of that shit. I'm just going to be honest. Good for you. <laughs> Give me one more here, please, for the collective. Because, child, honey, don't nobody got time for that. Look at this emotional affair came out again. It's hard to resist an emotional connection with someone who is already involved. So I feel like this was you having a very difficult time resisting this person because you still have some form of emotion attached to them. And it doesn't even necessarily mean like, you know, you don't still love them deep down on the inside and you don't have feelings or love for them. It just means like right, right now is not a good time. Now, if you don't resonate with that, then this is just your person. Be, being emotionally attached to you, but they still have other drama going on over here with somebody else. So, I'm gonna leave that right there. Let's move on to a different deck. Show me more here for the collector. What else do they need to know? Pray it away by Chloe. It's on, on right now. Pray it away. Pray it away. I think I'm going to take it to church. I think that's what she says. Ooh, that's too many. Okay, let's do this one. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So that's this person sitting around thinking about how much they love you, how they are still emotionally attached to you. That's the old person. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for the tr for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this is this person yearning and feeding for you. Um, yeah, while you're not talking to them, you don't walk away. You prayed it away. I, you went. To, some of y'all went to church. You went to God. You know what I'm saying. You did what you had to do. Honey, and God is a powerful God. And from what I see, honey, and you are a co-creator too. And you, you, anyway, I ain't going to get the preaching on here because that's what this is going to make me do. I love y'all so much. Hit the like button.